What's up? Brian Tong here and welcome to the Apple Bits for everything good and bad inside the world of Apple. Let's get to the show and reports are already coming out for the 2019 iPhones since we already know a whole lot about the 2018 ones being announced September the 12th. And if you want to, you can go back to my previous videos to get all caught up to speed. Now, Ming-Chi Kuo is back at it again with a new note that claims Apple will not adopt the fingerprint scanner in display technology that's already in phones from Vivo, future phones from Xiaomi and Huawei, and has even been rumored to be coming to the Galaxy S10 and the OnePlus 6T in October. Instead, the reports say the iPhone will continue using its true depth camera system with Face ID as their biometric authentication system in 2019, while Android phones move towards the fingerprint scanner on display tech since they are several years away from matching Apple's secure 3D Face ID tech. Now, that's one of the main things I wanna see at their keynote. Has Face ID improved in its speed and its range of detection in different lighting conditions? Like, I want the end screen fingerprint scanner. It feels like a bummer at first, but if Face ID, if it does get significantly better, then it's not that big of a deal. We know Apple has waited at least a year or two before they integrate new tech that's not their own into their iPhone, but Face ID in its current state uh, it still isn't good enough for me, and I want those Touch ID speeds. I know you do too. And since we're talking about the future iPhone, this rumor report from last week becomes more interesting after Barclays reported that according to their supply chain checks, they believe that 3D Touch will be removed from iPhones with OLED displays in 2019. And again, this is not official, so let's not treat it like it's a headline story, but Ming-Chi Kuo reported 3D Touch would not be a feature on the current 2018 6.1-inch LCD screen lower cost iPhone. We'll see, but I was excited about 3D Touch from day one when Apple announced it back in the 2015 iPhone 6S. It was like this new layer of control directly on screen with the potential to be a game changer. But then Apple never fully supported it. Developers didn't either. It was only on the iPhone. It wasn't on any other iOS device. And Apple didn't even feature it in the past two WWDC keynotes. Like nada, nothing. So my guess is at least two thirds of iPhone owners don't even use 3D touch or even know they have it. Like my mom is saying to herself right now, what is 3D touch? I'll, I'll show you one day, mama. So as sad as it is to see it go, it won't be a surprise at all. And for me, that's a sad apple. <laughs> <coughs> I told myself I wouldn't cry today. Ugh. Now, if you like early concept renders, Lee Gunho took the leaks from Apple last week and went to town with the all gold everything iPhone XS that just makes me want that stupid thing even more. Like, look how sexy that is. And I'm saying this in a room by myself about a phone. Dang, I need to get out more. And if you can't help yourself, the actual wallpaper from the iPhone XS leak has been made available for you online. And check out these new renders from my smart price of the iPad Pro, allegedly based off of leaked CAD designs. At first, I got even more juiced about this if this design is the actual real deal with no home button, thinner bezels, and an iPhone 4-like chamfered edges. The render also shows separate antenna strips along the top and the bottom instead of the single line on top of the current models. But looking closer, there's a smart connector on the bottom of the iPad Pro instead of the one on the side. That lines up with the leaked case that had an opening for a smart connector on the bottom. And reports claim that Face ID will not work when the tablet is in landscape mode. And if true, that's just stupid. Now, the other big thing to notice here, there appears to be no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack anywhere on these renders. Here we go again. Let's get ready to dunk -oh! I kept it short for you. And I have Bluetooth headphones for traveling, but will the iPad Pro support multiple headsets over Bluetooth 5.0? Or will I be the guy with the dongle that goes to a splitter to two headphones on long flights to watch a movie with my bae? But actually, I guess I already am that guy. Huh. Okay, a couple quick service things to cover. Apple has launched an iPhone 8 logic board repair program offering free repairs for iPhone 8 models that have been plagued by restarts, freezing and unresponsive devices. You can enter your serial number on their website. Just search for iPhone 8 logic board replacement program. This is for select iPhone 8s and not iPhone 8 pluses. And if you're suffering from the audio popping issues like I was or kernel panic issues with your brand new 
2018 MacBook Pro, a new macOS High Sierra Supplemental Update 2 has been released. Now it's exclusive to those models, but I haven't had the crackling output or sound issues since the update, which is, I guess, more like a thanks for fixing what should have been never an issue, but I'm happy. It looks like it's resolved. And then a fun thing we're checking out, take a look at this Kickstarter. It's the iconic pillow collection by Throwboy, and it's a throwback to some of your favorite Apple devices of all time in pillow form. It's the perfect piece of nostalgia for your sofa, so check it out. And in case you're wondering, I will absolutely be having BTZ's live coverage of the iPhone XS and Apple Watch Series 4 event, taking your live calls, we're playing our big bingo card, and I'm happy to say that TCL is sponsoring the show, so guess what? We're going to have some epic giveaways that you can win, so I wouldn't miss it. Just follow my Twitter at Brian Tong. There will be more details to come, but if you're subscribed here and you have that notifications bell, woo, you'll get all the live stream info right here as well. And if you want to really dive deep with the Apple News of the Week, you'll get updates and news stories as well with my Apple Bits XL audio podcast available on pretty much every platform, so check that out and you can support that show and all my content at my patreon i'm independent and you can check that out at patreon.com slash brian tong thanks so much for watching thank you everyone for supporting and continuing to watch i'm brian tong and we'll catch you next time for all the bits and bites inside the world of apple take care be safe peace